Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture in the computer network series. Today we will see the part 2 of the OSI reference model and we will see the outcomes now. Today we are going to focus on the three layers, application layer, presentation layer and the session layer. We will be understanding about the services offered by application layer, the services offered by presentation layer and the services offered by the session layer. We will start with the layers of the OSI model. In the previous lecture we have seen what are the various layers available in the OSI reference model. Now we will just have a recapture over it. We have application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. If two different systems wants to communicate with each other, they can use OSI reference model as a guideline for their data communication. If two systems are going to communicate with each other, the user who is sitting at this computer is going to generate the data. How he is going to generate the data? He normally opens an application here and that application only is going to generate the data. So this is what the application layer is. So the data that is generated by this application must reach the destination computer's application layer. So before sending this data, the application layer data is given to presentation layer session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. And finally, this physical layer only, the physical layer of this computer places the data on the physical medium. Once the data is received by the destination or the receiver, the physical layer only receives this data which is sent by the sender. Now this physical layer information is taken to the data link layer network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and finally it is handed over to the application layer. We will now see an example so that it will be clear for you. Let's assume the application layer that is generating a data which is a confidential information. Let's suppose if the user sitting at one computer wants to send this information to the user who is working in the other computer. Let this be a confidential information. My password is Neso Academy at 989 hash. So the user wants to send this information to the other user. This information generated by the application layer is given to the presentation layer. Presentation layer modifies or converts that content into some format. After the conversion is made, it is then given to the session layer for the session layer activities to carry out. Now this information is given to the transport layer. Now with the data that is received, it adds the transport layer information. So transport layer information is added in the transport layer and after that this entire content is given to the network layer. Now with the transport layer information and the data what it has received from the application layers or from the higher layers, it is adding network layer information. So with transport layer information, now network layer information is added. Now after adding this network layer information, the entire content is now given to the data link layer. Now with the transport layer information, network layer information, the data link layer information is now added. We could observe that actual data which is converted into some unreadable format by the presentation layer, then transport layer information, network layer information and data link layer information all are added. And this is what the entire content of this data that is going to be sent. Now what this physical layer does, it converts the entire content into zeros and ones. These zeros and ones are going to be sent to the other side of the network or to the destination computer. This physical layer knows to which kind of medium it is connected to. If it is connected to a wired medium, it converts entire zeros and ones into signals. If it is an ethernet cable, it converts this into an electrical signal. If it is a fiber optic cable, it converts the entire bits of zeros and ones into light waves. In case, if it is a wireless medium, this entire group of zeros and ones are converted into waves. So all these things are happening in a single computer. So if you observe, this is the host that does all the activities. And finally, when this computer wants to send this data, if this is a cable and all the data, whatever it is generated, it sends that data to the other computer in this form. This binary information has the application layer information, transport layer information, network layer information, data link layer information. So all these information in the entire content of zeros and ones that are sent. Now we will see what are the services offered by these three layers in today's session. In the next lecture we will focus on the remaining four layers. 
We will now focus on the application layer. Application layer. It enables the user to access the network resources. Suppose if there are two computers or devices, device A and device B, and device A wants to send some data to device B, so how it is going to send the data? There needs some application. That application only is going to send the data to this device. So this is the application that enables the user who is working at this computer to access the network resources. Now we will see what are the services offered by this application layer. Application layer provides the following services. It enables the user to do file transfer and access management. So it is file transfer and access management. Say this user may be intended to send a file from this computer to this computer or this user may need a file from this computer. We will call this computer as a remote computer now and this is the local computer. The user who is working at this computer can access a file from the remote computer. The second service offered by application layer is the mail service. The user who is working at this computer may access email. So again we need this computer network in order to send or receive emails or he may use directory services. Directory services means this application provides access to the data globally. So far we have seen application layer. Now we will move on to the presentation layer. It is concerned with the syntax and semantics of the information exchange between these two systems. Syntax means the structure or the format of the message that is being sent. For example, if n number of bits are flowing, what does the first 8 bit represent? What's the second set of 8 bits represent? So these kind of structure or format is done by the syntax part of the presentation layer. And semantics means it refers to the meaning of each section. Suppose if the message has 5 sections, what is the meaning of the first section? What's the meaning of second section? On all the meanings of the section of the bits that are being transmitted is addressed by the semantics part. So presentation layer, it is concerned with the syntax and semantics of the information exchanged between systems. Now we will see what are the services offered by the presentation layer. Presentation layer does three services, translation, encryption and compression. We will see one by one now. Translation means if this computer is going to send some data and this data, the data what it is going to send, it will be obviously sender dependent. And we want receiver dependent data also. So converting the data into a common format where that common format is acceptable by both sender as well as receiver and that is what is called as translation. So converting the data that is sent by the sender into a common format which is accepted by all devices then that is called as translation. Encryption means suppose if this guy is sending a confidential information and we don't want others to see this communication or know what's the communication that is being carried out. So we want to protect the data from disclosure or from unauthorized access. Suppose if he is sending a confidential information, instead of sending that confidential information just like that, we can convert that confidential information or the plain text into some unreadable text where that unreadable text if somebody sees also they can't understand anything out of it. And only the sender and receiver can understand what the message is. So converting the original message into that unreadable message is called as encryption. So sender does encryption and sends the data. And the receiver does decryption and understands what the message is. And the third one is compression. Compression is very important if we send multimedia messages. Multimedia messages means messages with audio, video, images, animations, text, etc. Compression means reducing the number of bits contained in the information. So the services offered by presentation layer are translation, encryption and compression. So far we have seen application layer and presentation layer. Now we will move on to the next layer, the session layer. Session layer. It establishes, maintains and synchronizes the interaction among communicating devices. For example, if these two are the communicating devices, so session layer establishes, maintains and synchronizes the interaction among the communicating devices. Now we will see what are the services offered by session layer. If we understand the services offered by session layer, we can understand what does establishing or maintaining and synchronizing the sessions. Session layer basically provides two services, dialog control and synchronization. Dialog control means 
If we say there are two computers going to communicate with each other, it means two processes in these two computers are going to communicate with each other. Session layer allows two systems to enter into a dialogue. Dialogue means it is a communication between two processes to take place either in a half duplex way that is one way communication or full duplex mode or both way communications or two way communication at a time. This kind of activity we normally call as dialogue control. And coming to the second service offered by this layer is the synchronization. Synchronization means the session layer allows a process to add checkpoints or synchronization points. For example, if this system is going to send a big file which is of 2000 pages and it is advisable to insert a checkpoint after every 100 pages to ensure that the 100 page unit is received and acknowledged independently. In this case, if a crash happens during a transmission of a particular page, only that pages can be resent. So this is what synchronization is. So sender and receiver must mutually be in a relationship so that it can offer some good things to the communication. And so far we have seen the services offered by application layer, presentation layer and session layer. And that's it guys. I hope now you are clear with the services offered by application layer, presentation layer and session layer. We will see about the remaining layers in the next lecture. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.